Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, dear. Good evening, teacher. Mercy and Andrea. Okay, tell me, Diego, what's new in your job? Everything okay? Normal? Normal, teacher. A normal day? A normal Wednesday? Yes, a normal Wednesday, but all this week have been a bit busy because you know why I'm, I'm looking for another job. Yes, and yeah, you I, told me the last time. Yeah, I handing in papers, you know what I mean? Of course, yes. And um, what kind of job would you like to be, uh, would you like to have? I will, I hope I will work in, in Banco America Central. Oh, nice. Yeah, like recovery agent. Mm -hmm. uh, like in this similar area, right? Yes, the same area, mm -hmm. but another place with There's better- Better payment, better, better, payment, better schedules. <laughs> of course, of course, of course yeah, you can is, do it. This is that I'm waiting for and, and I hope to get this job. First guy. But I consider that you maybe you can apply to a to a call center in English. <laughs> Have you tried? Uh, no, not yet. But I consider you should. I don't know. I am scared about it. But no, try. <laughs> just try. Just try it, and then tell me. <laughs> then tell me about it. I consider that maybe you can have like a, a good news. Well, like good news about it. Just hey, try it, and, so then much, tell, and then tell me. I really appreciate it. I will yeah. try. I will try. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> the question is, why not? Okay. Just why do not? it. Yeah. Like, like Nike. Like. <laughs> <laughs> just and do marketing. it <laughs> just do it okay yeah okay okay nice and what about andrea um how about your wednesday normal wednesday a good one a bad wednesday i can hear you andreita no puedo escucharte con el corazón ¿Y ahora? yes i can hear you now Normal Wednesday, teacher. Normal Wednesday, okay. Yes. Uh, Andrea, I'm sorry, I don't remember your age. How old are you? Uh, 27. Ah, baby, you have a <laughs> lot of things to experience. Okay, well, a good age. I would like to go back to, to my 27. Yes, of course. I would, uh, I would do a lot of things differently, but okay. So you have a lot of opportunities, Andrea. Okay, uh, 27, Mercy. Hello, Mercy. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening, Mercy. How old are you? Uh, I'm sorry for the question, but I don't know your age, so. Como teacher, perdón. How old are you? How are you is uh, something like, but how old are you? ¿Qué edad tienes? 30. 30. <laughs> you're, uh, but, but you're a mommy, right? You have a kid. Yes. Tienes un niño, una niña, right? Niña, sí. Uh, how old is your daughter? Cuatro años tiene. Four. Three. Three. No, teacher. <laughs> Me. Cuatro años. Ah, four. Okay. Four. Four years old. Okay. Yes. She's a baby. Okay. He's the baby of your house. Okay. Good for you. Nice. And here we have uh, and Kevin, Diana, and Helen. So uh, we're going to start uh, this class. We're about to finish. After this class, we're having just like uh, five more classes. And we're about to finish. Solo cinco clases nos quedan. Y ya estamos a punto de estar solteros, everyone. So, um, this is unit three, review and practice. And we're going to practice some of the, yeah, some of the grammar structures we have studied uh, these uh, last classes. But first, we're going to start with something that I consider that it is basic. And 
it is good to know different ways to say something if you notice. Si, si han notado, uh, casi siempre le doy como keywords, como palabras clave. Y a mí me gusta que, well, I really love to say something in different ways. Decir cosas eh, de maneras diferentes. Por ejemplo, ways to say or ways to ask, how are you? Um, you can say, how is everything or how is everything? How's everything or how is everything? How have you been? How are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How are the things going? So all of these are like different forms to express or to ask, how are you? Son maneras diferentes de preguntar cómo estás. Um, we are like uh, used to or accustomed to listen, how are you? Estamos como bien acostumbrados a escuchar cómo estás, how are you? But in real life, it is like in different way. No escuchamos eso, digamos, um, ¿qué? En el diario vivir. Normalmente en español escuchamos, ¿qué hay? ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo te ha ido? So, uh, let's imagine an American citizen, un ciudadano americano, and he's trying or he's learning Spanish. Él está aprendiendo español. Y Kevin viene y le, y le pregunta, ¿qué hay? Y él está acostumbrado a escuchar, ¿cómo estás? So he's going to be like um, overwhelmed, sorprendido. Eh, no es lo mismo como que le pregunta Andrea, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? So it's different form to say, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? So, um, how is everything? How have you been? How are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How are the things going? So I want to listen to you to express these questions. So we're going to start with Mercy, please. Yeah. Could you read one of these, please? Pick one. Solo selección how, how is everything? Can you uh, yeah. repeat, please? How is mm -hmm. everything? Okay, everything, everything. yes. Everything. Mm -hmm. How is everything? Or oh, how's everything? Thank you. Merci, Andrea. And then Kevin. How are the things going? Good one. Kevin and then Diego. How are you feeling? Good. How? Perfect. Diego, and then we're going with Diane. Okay, what's new with you? Good one. Diana and then Marlon. How was your day? Marlon, what about you? How are the things going? Perfect. And what about Edgar? Are you there, Edgar? Mm, and this is, you can, me acabo de conectar. Okay, uh, pick one, selección one, y pronuncio. Ah, okay. Uh, how is everything? How is everything? Good. Okay, uh, what about Claudia and then Helen? Okay, Claudia, select one and pronounce it. Okay, Claudia Diaz. Hello. Okay, I can hear you. No te puedes escuchar, Claudia. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Okay, no problem. Pick one. Selecciona one. Who was your day? How? Like, how? Oh, how, how? How? Okay, good. Thank you. Diana, are you there? Estás ahí, Danita? Sí, ya la mencioné. Ah, I'm sorry. Helen. Helen era la, la siguiente. I'm sorry. Thank you. Helen, hello. Hello, de camino voy, teacher. <laughs> okay. You? okay, okay, thank you, thank you, Helen, relax. Me avisas cuando estés en casa, okay? Me avisas, okay, good. Okay, so uh, these are forms to express how are you. Son formas como para expresar o preguntar cómo estás. Tomorrow we're going to uh, like check forms to express your fine. Mañana vamos a ver, eh, digamos, frases o formas para decir que si estás bien o como. Todos are relaxed. Okay. 
So try to remember how is everything? How are, have you been? How are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How are the things going? Okay. So now here we have uh, like a speaking activity. What subjects uh, do you think should be included in the education system? Okay. So I would like to listen to Kevin. If you are ready, Kevin, tell me with this question. Kevin, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, what do you think or what's your opinion about it? Okay, in my opinion, I think it should be the emotional intelligence. I think it is very important that people have class, class or training on this. Okay, wow, that, that's a, a good point. Emotional intelligence. Remember that we have different types of intelligences, okay, multiple intelligences, not only mathematic uh, way, but also like physics, uh, emotional literature, languages, you know, these things. So emotional intelligence is something that is not being included yet. No se incluido. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Okay, what about Diego? Do you have um, like uh, an opinion about it, Diego? Yes, I got it, teacher. Good one. Yeah, I believe that it is necessary to include in the education system subjects about entrepreneurship or how to be autonomous and focus on how I can do things by myself because I, uh, not everybody wants to study to work for a company. Rather than this, the company should hire people who were educated by themselves. Okay. Entrepreneurship is about emprendedorismo. Um, you know that Salvadorians uh, like have a lot of uh, business here in Salvador. If you compare Salvadorians uh, to different kinds of citizens or people from another country, it's like Salvadorians are very hardworking and they can survive by having uh, own businesses. Sobreviven con pequeños negocios. But those things are not taught at school. Esos no se enseñan en escuela. But what about, what if, what if a school will teach that? So they can have better opportunities, right? Yeah. In this country, not only in this country, but also out of El Salvador. So yeah, why not? How to become um, a businessman, a businesswoman, and have like... Uh, different opportunities related to that. Yes. I yeah. in, in university, there is subjects like finance or economy. Marketing, marketing, uh, yes. Exactly, but I'm not talking about university, if not a uh, school, elementary school. And it even if, if you compare university students in elementary schools, uh, even if they're uh, studying administrative issues or marketing studies. Uh, even elementary school students uh, will have more experience about it, right? And uh, they can uh, sell like typical food, for example, for instance. So they can uh, admin, they, they know more about administration, about finance, but they can have more opportunities if they are told these things okay yes i strongly agree with you good good opinion um what about andrea okay i think that the way of teaching classes should only be improved uh, for example <laughs> um val values ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? values 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 it should be tau in a more dynamic way and due to the country situation personal defense should be added wow yes and not only for girls but yes. also for boys 
uh, personal defense, that is something very important because we live in a violent country. We don't mm -hmm. live in Europe when there are some countries that they are like uh, everything okay. Uh, we live here when the crime is increasing. So yes, Andrea, I strongly agree with you. Uh, even I haven't thought about it. De hecho, no lo había considerado. But yes, uh, I think we, we uh, should know like the basic things, at least, por lo menos lo básico deberíamos de saber. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes, so interesting. Okay, good. And what about um, Mercy? Okay, teacher. In my opinion, subject that talks about emotional intelligence coincide con Kevin. Mm -hmm. Today, there are many youths with sad cases in their lives, and they do not answer to the situation and see an easy solution such as that due to lack orientation of orientation. The, yes, 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 yes. Mercy, thank you for rem reminding me. Emotional intelligence is a, it doesn't have to be just related to love. It's about feelings. What are your thoughts? What, what are your ideas? Um, normalmente, a, a veces pensamos que la cuestión emocional tiene que ver con amor, but not all the time. It has to be with how to express how you feel, if you're comfortable or not, si estás cómodo o no, pero cómo expresar. Um, as one of my teachers used to say, it is not a matter to what to say, but how to say it. No es una forma de qué decir, sino cómo decirlo. Okay, yeah, yeah. And that, that uh, like, comes to my mind when you say it. Okay, thank you, Mercy. Good. What about Diana? Do you have a, like a specific subject that would you like to be included? Mm, yes. Solamente que se repiten las que dijeron. No problem. Just say it. In my opinion, that should include in emotional intelligence besides occupation workshop and language other than English. Other than English. That education should be accessible for everyone. Yes. There are some call centers that they're included uh, French, Portuguese, um, like uh, Chinese and some other languages, not only English, right? Because in here in this country, they pay less. Uh, las empresas pagan menos aquí. Si ellos, pues, eh, si ellos tienen, bueno, ellos tienen empresas en otros países, but here in Salvador, they pay less, of course. And yes, as you said, emotional intelligence, okay? Entrepreneurship and uh, things related to business. Why not? Uh, I don't know you, but in my case, I can see a lot of my uh, classmates or they used to be my classmates at elementary school. They have their own businesses. Ellos tienen sus pequeños negocios. ¿Cuántos de sus compañeros no tienen pequeños negocios? Y si hubiesen tenido una guía, ¿ok? Si hubieran tenido como una, como un pequeño curso de inducción, estarían mejor, ¿ok? Related to finance. Ok, good. What about... Yes, tell me. You know what? I think that uh, human rights have to be included too in, in, the, in the educated system. One. Because I know I know many people that that who knows more than football than his his themselves right. Yes, they know more. They more about soccer rules, uh, like uh, yes, uh, like championship, right? Uh, muchos torneos. They know about it, but what about the the rights? Not only exactly. by if. Uh, a uh, police officer stops you, but also mm -hmm. when you go to, to a, a different job or you finish your contract, cuando finalices su contracto, muchas personas no saben, a lot of people, well, don't know about how to, to ask for finance, how to ask for different, like, um, obligations by enterprises. Las empresas tienen obligaciones con, 
and we yeah. don't know about it, right? Sad, sad but true. Sad but true as Metallica album. Well, <laughs> I think it is the fourth song. Well, I don't know the word, but uh, definitely yeah. we should know it. Deberíamos saberlo. But uh, yeah. we have to study it in a different way. Yes, it's necessary. Yes, of course. It is okay. What about Marlon? Okay, Marlon. Uh, a specific subject that, that you would like to study in the past? Mm, of course. Uh, like I told you before, teacher, I think uh, just, uh, the, the education system has to, to, to teach more ludic, uh, uh, in a ludic way and to integrate all the all the students and and also we we uh, or or so or or children uh, will would Korean uh, will want to go to the to the school and uh, besides we can include in, include include it so yeah include yes include 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 uh, all the all the subjects uh, that my classmates have mentioned and i think we can mention too uh, the socialization the soft soft skills and uh, to face life in any situation and the knowledge about a general culture too that's that's my opinion Thanks maybe for... maybe maybe a lot of of, of those uh, those things that I have mentioned uh, uh, just tiny, pero they but, have been but mentioned. They uh, have been mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, that's my you, opinion. You said something like in a ludical way is um, a form to say that we learn in different forms or different ways. For example, of course. maybe you can learn by drawings. Maybe Andrea may learn by listening. Um, it can be possible that Diego learns by reading. So every person learns in different ways. Right. Yes. But I, I don't know in your case, but I remember in my childhood, I was not so interested in learning. Yo no estaba muy interesado en aprender. Because of neither the teachers. Me. Right. Neither, neither, neither do I, sería, neither me, teacher. No me neither me did bien. I, en el pasado, neither did I. Neither did I. Yes. Yo tampoco. Entonces. Yes. And there are a lot of dropouts. Dropouts is uh, deserciones, right? Okay, of... okay. Dropout is como se llama deserciones. Mm. La gente que des, eh, se va de la escuela. I think you had a sí. lot of uh, friends that they say, I don't want to go to school because that's boring. I don't learn anything, no aprendo nada. So that that's, that happens now even. Oh, todavía pasa. Right? Y quizás son muy inteligentes. Maybe they are very intelligent. Right? Maybe they are good yeah. at business. Tal vez son buenos en los negocios. Right? But those are just examples. Yes, I, I, I think, I think uh, the education system has to integrate everyone. Mm -hmm. And... And the ludic way can, can be the, the, the way to, to an option. Yes, an option to, or, to or have an option. like a, a better learning, un, un mejor aprendizaje. Yes, that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of students are afraid of mathematics. Muchos le tienen miedo a las matemáticas. But mathematics are not so complicated. No son tan complicadas como, como realmente se piensa. But because of the so, yeah, of course, it's uh, it, that's based on met methodology. Thank you, Marlon, for reminding me that. Yes, Eso por recordarme. yes of course. <laughs> okay, we're going to um, continue later. Now we're having a conversation. So I'm going to give you a couple seconds. So you tell me what uh, can you remember about this conversation between Ever and Ben.
Okay, now we start with Claudia. So, Claudia, what do you have in mind? Uy, teacher, I see. Uy, uy, what? Mm, hello. <laughs> <laughs> is hello. there anybody in there? Okay. <laughs> uh, what about um, Edgar? Yeah, I can say earlier you see uh, I am talking in English. Of course, from what you said. Yes, I'm taking. I am taking. Yes, Edgar, no soy tan mentiroso como pensaba. Go, yes, I am taking. Okay, what about Andrea? A ver si no me miente. I am reading novels. Hmm. Okay. Excellent. Kevin. Okay, yo puedo leer. Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? Okay, yes, yes. Okay. What are you doing? And we have. Okay, we have Mercy. I am doing listening. I am doing listening. Okay, yes, yes, I am doing. Okay, what about Carmen? Hello, Carmen. La novia del pueblo. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Carmen. Uh, I am working in a new project. Sí, no me miente. No, Carmencita, es una... Ay, no. Votaría por ella. Diana. Solo recuerdo que decía Hi, Beth. Mm -hmm. Hi, Beth. Mm, y era de... Re, ya no me acuerdo cómo era en inglés. Eh, que tenía tiempo de no verla, algo así. Tenía tiempo de no verla. Long time to see. What about Diego? What do you remember? I remember you're right. I'm starting on my own. Okay, on my own. Me recuerdo una canción de Freddie Mercury que es Living on my own. No sé si la recuerdan, pero fue de las últimas que hizo. Good one. Mm. Carla. A ver, Carlita. Hello. Hello, teacher. Um, how uh, how about you and what and coincidence okay ya vamos a ver a ver si no me mentí carla okay uh, helen hello helen hello teacher Qué rápido. how are you good ¿Cómo estás? bien <laughs> más o menos more or less okay so tell um, me do you remember anything te recuerdas de algo yes Good afternoon, a new secretary. Y aquí en place, no sé si así se pronuncia. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Ya, vamos a ver por qué no me parece, pero vamos a ver si es cierto. Thanks. Hey, Marlon, tell me. Um, I just remember, um, what are you doing these days, I think? Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, no problem. We have a conversation between Ever and Beth. Ever era un compañero que tenía en la escuela. No era muy inocente que se diga, but here we have Ever and Beth. Okay, so hi, Beth. Long time no see. Como dijo Dianita, me parece. Creo que si me equivoco. Era tiempo de no verte. ¿Verdad? How are you? Saben que en lugar de how are you podemos decir diferentes. Uh, we can say in different. Okay. Let's continue. Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am mm, okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking. Parece que Kenny creo que dijo. I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. Coincidence. I'm also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking training in England these days. Uh, you're right. I'm studying on my own. Por mi mismo, on my own. Es como por mi mismo. You know, 
I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Estoy haciendo, verdad, o como estoy practicando con ejercicios de listening. So if you notice, eh, si notan, tenemos present continuous. What are you doing these days? I am working, I am taking. The course is taking, verdad, el curso, verdad. Uh, the, the course is taking training in England. I am studying, I am reading, I am doing, okay? In my opinion, we don't have new words, right? No tenemos palabras nuevas, solo que sea on my own, own. O es como que digamos by my side or by myself. Like this, I'm going to write it here. By my side, by myself, es por, eh, por mí mismo, por mí mismo, on my own, eh, it's a similar form to say, ok? Um, creo que hay una canción de Salen Dion que se llama All By Myself, me parece, no recuerdo. Es música de, de una persona que conocí. So, so, by my side, by myself. Right, no te rías de mí, no sea malo. These are different forms to, to express on my own. Okay. Arriesgo mi vida emocional por ustedes. So we're going to express, uh, we're going to practice um, a little bit uh, with this conversation. I'm going to create the, the breakout rooms. I will need to have you screenshot. Necesito captura de pantalla para esto. Okay. Como siempre, uh, I know that Marlon sends this image to WhatsApp. Siempre envía esta imagen a WhatsApp. Siempre agradezco eso a Marlon. Espero que nunca envíe otra imagen. I know he wouldn't do it. Sé que no lo haría. No va a enviar un violín ni nada de eso. I know. So, um, we're going to practice. And um, before practicing, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisarla. La lista de asistencia, because I know that you are very punctual. Sé que son bastante puntuales. So, say hello if you are there. Okay. So, Ana Mercedes, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carmen. Hello. Hello there. Uh, Claudia Diaz. Present. Present, teacher. Thanks, thanks, Claudia. Carito. Está por ahí, Carito. I think no. Okay, so, Christian. Present. Hello, Christian. Okay. Alex. Present. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> nice. Diana? No, Diana, I'm no, here. no. No, vino Diana. Hello, Diana. Thanks. <laughs> Diego? Present. Hello, Dorita. I think Dorita is not here. Right. Okay. Um, Edgar? Hello, teacher. Hello, Helen? Present. Thanks. Carla? Present. Hello. And Kevin. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Marlon. Present. Thank you. Susie. Susie, no, she's not here. No está acá, Susie. And Veronica. Well, uh, they are not here. No, no están acá. Okay, so we're going to practice a little bit with this conversation. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Voy a crear los, pues, los equipos. Just give me a second.
Ok. See you in a couple of seconds. Lo veo un par de segundos. Hi Diego, long time to see. Uh, 
How are you feeling? Hello, Diana. What are you doing these days? I'm I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. Wow. Uh, on my own, you know, I am reading novels. Si no, no ¿Cómo se dice eso, teacher? Hello? Ajá, ¿cuál? Eh, después de reading novels o oh, novels. Sí, novels, novels. Así es. Novels, así como yeah. se puede. I'm reading novels. novels. And to have better results. Mm -hmm. Great. Will. Well. Great. Well. I am doing listening. <laughs> listening. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> They help a lot. Sí. Ahora, si gusta, empiezo yo y de ahí. ¿Sí? Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an. In was so great what a coincidence in all i am also taking an english course english is essential at the workplace this day i know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in england these days you are right i am studying on my own you know I am ready now to help better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. Uh, they help a lot. Hello, Carmen. Hello, teacher. ¿A quién está regañando? Decime. <risa> mm. A mi hijo chiquito. ¿A quién? A mi hijo chiquito. ¿Y qué hizo? Que lo mandó a limpiar una cosa y dice, ah, te, es que tengo que hablar con mis amigos. <risa> ok. Oh, <por> Dios. <risa> Ajá, and how, how many kids do you have? ¿Cuántos chicos tienes? Dos. Dos. Ok, and how old is the youngest? El más jovencito, ¿cuánto tiene? Eh, eleven years eleven. old. And the older y el más grande? Eighteen years old. Eighteen, wow. Eighteen. So you were uh, like a very young mother. Es una mamá joven. Quiero ver si se ve una. Ok. So that's why you look like great and you're a mom, a mother mom. Eres como una mamá moderna, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, espero que sí. You try. Tú intentas, right? You try. <laughs> yes, okay. Go for you. Go for you, Carmen. Ah, me vas a enseñar algo. A ver, estoy esperando, estoy esperando. So here we have also, uh, bah, para mientras dice, eh, comerciales, commercials, go to commercials. Vamos a comerciales, ok? De Anita ya me va a contar un chiste. So, mientras Carmen nos va a sorprender con algo, 
and we're having this conversation. And I will need the help of, uh, what about uh, Diana? You're going to be bed. And Diego ever. So you start, please. Okay. Hi, Diego. Long time no see. How are you feeling? Hello, Diana. What are you doing these days? Teacher, continue. Yes, please. Ah, okay. I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How, how about you? Hey, that sounds great. What a coincidence. I'm also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking an, a training in England these days. You're right. I'm starting on my own. You know, I'm really nervous to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. They help a lot, yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot. Okay, so here we have like a, a very relaxed conversation about, well, very practical things that they are doing. So here we have a question. What are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? So, uh, Alex, could you help me? ¿Cuáles son algunas de las cosas que Ever y Beth eh, van a hacer estos días? Ok, Alex, could you mention one? Eh, sería como hacer ejercicio. Um, hacer ejercicio. Eh, ir a trabajar. Uh, really? Ok, let's listen to André. El, el nuevo proyecto. Ok, un new project. Andrea, what are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? ¿Cuáles son algunas de las cosas que van a hacer Ever y Beth? Ok, Andrea. Um, working on a new, new project, Ever and Beth. Um, no sé qué va a hacer ella. Really? <laughs> Mm. I am also I am also taking no uh -huh. mm -hmm. taking an English course okay course yes English similar to you igual que ustedes okay good so now that you are here uh, welcome back we're having this uh, question again what subjects do you think should be included in education system so uh, for this question, we're having now Carmen's opinion. And Carmen's surprise in a presentation. My opinion, uh, there are three subjects that are already there that I consider should be reinforced. Mm -hmm. Spilling, morals and civics, and art. Okay, reinforced. So they are taught but they can improve, but they mejor up, right? Yes. So spelling, spelling. spelling. <laughs> mm -hmm. es muy mal. Yes, I do uh, agree about it. And there are a lot of kids that they have dyslexia, that they interchange numbers, letters, eh, intercambian numero, letras, and about orthography, okay? Where is the second, Carmen? Moral and civics. Moral and civics, okay. And? Art. Yes, as I uh, said yesterday, arts can be expressed in different forms. Yes, in different forms. Not just painting, no solo la pintura. Arts can be expressed in different forms, okay? Poetry. More expression. Dancing, music, okay, plastic arts, okay, and there are a lot, a lot of things that they, they can do, okay. So good, good uh, point, Carmen. Thank you. Now we're having Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Do you have an opinion about this? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. 
I think they should include self-defense class and English from kindergarten. Uh, also some subjects that are seen in util university. I think that will be the most advanced education in our country. Hey, wow. I don't know uh, Diego, Alex, Marlon, Kevin, Edgar, Christian. We didn't receive self-defense education. But at least we have a fight in, your, in our lives. Al menos tuvimos una pelea en nuestra vida. Uh, and I see boys because they are like, uh, they're more common to have fights. But also, I have watched, como maestro, as a teacher, I have seen a lot of girls fighting. No se imaginan cuántas niñas he visto peleando. Y no le puede ser el motivo. Bueno, <laughs> sí, sí le puede ser el motivo. I'm going to say uh, uh, the reason. But at least once in our life, we have fight. Al menos una vez en nuestra vida tuvimos una pelea. Of course, it is in a different form because we have bullying. Uh, in, nowadays, it is in a different form in comparison to the, the, the last years. Si comparamos, el bullying es diferente. Es totalmente diferente eh, en comparación, ¿verdad? Paso. But it doesn't mean that it is not offensive. No quiere decir que no es ofensivo, right? Because in the past, we can be out of, out of the class or the races and we could fight. But now it, it is expressed in different forms. Okay, violence is there. The violence is there. With words, with memes, con los memes. Okay, it can be like uh, a person could be violated by memes. Una persona puede ser como violentada a través de los memes. And it is hard. duro también. It's very difficult. But okay, we're having this. And what about um, Christian? You have your point, right, Christian? Hello, Christian. Hi, teacher. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion about this topic? Eh, bueno, la pregunta es que como no las había visto, pero... Okay, eh, uh, you need time. Tema, ¿Necesitas uh, tiempo? Eh, no, okay. no, creo que no. Okay. Eh, se hace referencia a qué temas deberíamos incluir a la tema o tema educativa. Yes, 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 yes. Eh, I think incluye the Bible o Biblia. Ok. Spiritual o, o Bible. Uh -huh. Bible. Orthographic. Tal vez una sola materia de eso porque <ríe> hay bastantes okay, personas que... Sí, porque le incluyen como... Como de manera general el lenguaje, pero sería bueno una sola. Mm, and I think, okay. Y yes, también, yes, yes. Eh, quiero ver, como educación para la vida, algo así, education. Ok. O okay. no sé cómo se podría decir. Like life orientation, como orienta, orientación para orientación. la vida, pero, pero una orientación bien dada. Right, like, oh, como man. dijo Carmen, reinforce, como reforzar, realmente para que no pueda servir. Okay, talking okay. about orthography, have you noticed that if we use our cell phones, we can have like, uh, like a prediction text, tenemos eh, texto predictivo, but there are a lot of people that they don't use it. Mucha gente que no lo usa, incluso yo he tenido jefes. I have had like bosses that they have bad orthography, tienen mala orthografía. Okay, and uh, it is like really necessary. It, it is like part of the of your appearance, presence, depende de tu presencia, dice mucho. If you text in a different, in a bad way, si, si, si escribe de una manera incorrecta, dice mucho de tu persona. So that's it, of course. Mm, okay, thank you. Yes, of course, we can take like the Bible classes. It's related to, buy, to spiritual uh, education, education spiritual. But in my opinion, it should be like an option. Okay, maybe you can, you want to receive or not. Okay, there are persons que le gustaría recibir eso, otras que no. But if you want to receive, of course. Si quieren recibir y todo eso, pues 
por supuesto que sí, of course. Thank you. And Christian, now what about if we have Edgar? Are you ready, Edgar? Yes, teacher. Please, my friend. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I think uh, uh, three. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh, three include uh, is basic nursing knowledge or first aid. First aid. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, second is financial education. And and the last is programming. Okay, programming. Okay, yes, why not? Okay, so we, we have, um, yes, so the, the, the first aid. Yo lo vi, no sé si, si recuerdan. Eh, había una caricatura de, de, de los de los Looney, no, no eran los Looney Tunes, era mi, eh, de Disney y salía el Paco, bueno, creo que, no sé quién salía, pero salía First Aid, que eran los primeros auxilios. And that's basic. Eh, there are a lot of accidents in our lives, not only in schools, but also at workplace. Y normalmente there is a very common that people don't know how to react. No saben cómo reaccionar. Well, they react, reaccionan or they are in shock, or they do something. Reaccionan o hacen algo. But if you do something, you have to do it well. Tienen que hacer algo. I don't know if uh, anybody here, si alguien de aquí sabe cómo, cómo, cómo dar primeros auxilios. Well, not in my case. I don't know. No, no en mi caso. Okay. Y no hablo de respiración artificial. No, I'm not talking about it. Okay, but I, I, I mean... If a person have, is dizzy, si una persona tiene como se desmaya or something. No, we, yes, well, that's, that's Edgar's point. Ese es el punto de Edgar. We should know. Deberíamos de saber. Okay? Yes? Yeah. And, and, and that happens. First aid es primeros auxilios. Pero si decimos aid, significa sida. Sida. No, o sea, o sea, la enfermedad, eh, ¿verdad? Entonces, la S le cambia bastante. So, first aid es primeros auxilios y en AIDS significa así. So that's like a critical point because of a letter, un punto crítico por una letra. Ok. And here we have, vamos a hacer una pausa. Carmen, qué grande tu hijo. Uh, ok, Carmen, you are a very intelligent and modern mom. Ok, después vamos a hablar, Carmen. Congratulations. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Ask to Carmen. Quieren, eh, pídanle a Carmen. I don't know about it. Pero Carmen es una mamá moderna y joven and very active. Okay, intelligent. Ahí le vamos a mandar a... Share it, Carmen. Okay. <laughs> ah, ya, la, ya me la pusieron ahí. Hay que empezar. Okay. Si se porta bien, dice que se la va a mandar. Carmen. But you look like a very modern mom. Se ve como una mamá bien moderna. Good for you, Carmen. Después se lo vamos a mandar. Relájense. Okay, uh, what about if we have Helen and Carla? Helen, Carla, and we're going to a different activity. Helen, Carla. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Tell me, uh, Helen. Uh, Show be include values, dance, calligraphy. Eh, comprehensive ready creativity because no all institutions have the subject mentioned. Okay, yes, creativity should be like expand, extended, tiene que ser más amplia. I don't know about dancing because I am not good at dancing, no soy bueno en el baile, I am like a very um shy person in a person again in that case but maybe Diego wants to dance or maybe Andrea wants to to dance uh, some merengue cumbia I don't know yes yes of course I agree estoy de acuerdo because it's a form of expression una forma de expresarte okay but not all of us are accustomed no estamos como muy acostumbrados but I consider that 
Marlon want some cumbias on uh, Christmas. Quizás le guste un par de cumbias en Navidad. Deja la camisa negra por un lado, así va. Deja la camisa de mega de por un lado y se escucha ni seto. Yeah, well. And there are different types of dancing. Hay muchos tipos de danzas, ok. Not just for, uh, folklore, not just cumbia or independence uh, dances, but also like classics, ok. No sé si algunos de ustedes estuvieron en grupos de, de danza moderna. I don't know. And I'm not going to say who. No voy a decir quién. Sé que Diego posiblemente estuvo. And maybe. <laughs> okay, no, no. But the, it is a form to express. Es una forma de expresar. I know. Pero sé que aquí hay muchos de ustedes que son muy tranquilos. Okay. So, Carla, tell me. Um, moral and civic. Why? Valves aren't those that aren't love. Okay, yes, moral civics. Uh, it is based on values. Mm -hmm. That is something very important, not only because of independence values, but general life. Okay, in life, Amor. in general. Okay. Dianita, yes. Okay, and what about Alex? Perdón. Okay, te perdono, te perdono los pecados. Okay, Alex, are you there? Yes. Okay, tell me. In, in my opinion, the subjects that should be added to education is theology and music. Yes, I do agree with music. Okay, and theology, yeah, it can be included. Why not? Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're going to write a six line paragraph about temporary events. Eh, vamos a escribir un párrafo pequeño. Si se dan cuenta, ahora tenemos como más actividad de writing. You can take notes about something that you're going to do, cosas que van a hacer en el futuro using present continuous. No es necesario hacer los seis, las seis líneas, but you can use like four lines. So, for example, um, on, tour, on, on Sunday, I'm going to, okay, I'm having, and after that, podemos utilizar eso. Pueden hacer de tres a cuatro líneas, okay? And then we're going to interchange this. Vamos a intercambiar esto, okay? Eh, un párrafo pequeño de qué es lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Estos días, okay? I'm having, like, uh, dinner with my family. I'm going to my parents' house. I am visiting my friend's house. Okay. Podemos hablar por lo menos de cuatro cosas que vamos a hacer. Si ustedes gustan. Cuatro o cinco cosas. ¿Qué vamos a hacer durante esos días? Teacher. Hello. Eh, ¿Tiene que ser solo del trabajo o...? No, 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 en general. Puede incluir. Puede ser de, de lo que van a hacer con su familia, en el trabajo, con sus amigos. Yeah. Mm, ok, ok. It's up to you. El presente continuo. Mm, yeah. If it is possible. Si es posible, el presente continuo. Es más práctico. I am going to, I am having, I am watching, I am visiting.
Okay, now that we have this, ahora que ya tenemos como más claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer algo bien sencillo, really uh, simple, that is um, like a, a short dialogue. Vamos a tener un pequeño diálogo bien corto. Pero vamos a ver esto para mientras. How to use present continuous for temporary situations. Y vamos a tener acá principalmente, pues Carmen is going to help us. Nos va a ayudar. Carmen, could you read this, please? Use the present continuous. Use the present continuous for temporary situa situation. The expression these days and at the moment are often used to, ¿cómo se dice esto, teacher? Mm -hmm. Emphasize. Emphasize. Emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Okay, thanks. And now we're having Kevin. Examples. Okay, I am reading. Kevin. I'm reading a new book these days. Mm -hmm. Please continue. This is a temporary. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Ok, thanks. O sea que va, lo va a finalizar. Ok, lo va a terminar. Por eso es una acción temporal. Eh, temporal. Ok, uh, Diego, please. Wendy is having. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish sooner or later. Sooner or later is going to finish. So es tarde o temprano, ¿verdad? Sooner or later va a terminar. Ok. And here we have Andrea. We are taking. We are taking an English course, uh, the course with N. Va a finalizar, the course with N. En cinco días finalizamos, ¿ok? This course. And then we're, you're having a different course. Después tiene un curso diferente, ¿ok? So this is just some examples how to, to express ideas. And then here we have role play. A uh, chat, chat conversation about the temporary activities you and your other colleagues are you doing these days. Entonces vamos a tener una short conversation y necesito que sea una conversación como de un minuto o menos, ¿ok? And we're taking into account this. ¿Ok? Hi, Beth. Y, yo, y ustedes pueden decir, how are you? ¿Verdad? Y después, what are you doing this day? Esta pregunta es bien importante. What are you doing these days? ¿Ok? Y pueden decir... Mm, I'm okay. Well, I am having lunch with my friends, blah, blah, blah. Y luego se preguntan, and how about you? Ok. Vamos a hacer una conversación que no pase más de un minuto. Ok. With the person, uh, try to, to, to be creative. Traten de ser creativos. Pregúntense cómo están. Of course, por supuesto, van a utilizar esto principalmente. How are you doing this day? Y luego, how about you? No va a ser tan larga. Un minuto. And... You can use how is everything, how have you been, how are you feeling, what's new with you, how was your day, how are the things going, okay? Una conversación que no tarde más de un minuto porque todo va a pasar, okay? So, uh, try to do it, traten de hacerla con, con, con la misma pareja con la que estuvieron pues eh, trabajando, solo que estoy viendo acá, que algunas personas están solas en esta vida. Okay, una conversación que sea significativa en menos de un minuto.
Ya sé qué vamos a hacer. Quizás lo que vamos a hacer es que te voy a escribir al WhatsApp el, el, el diálogo. Te escribo y vos me respondés, así en inglés, para como tenerlo listo. Ok. ¿Va? Uh -huh. Y usamos ese pre el presente continuo. ¿va? Espérame, espérame, espérame. Kevin, ¿va? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es tu número, Kevin? 6072. Espérame. También um, era. I am working at the noon. Ajá, sería I am perfect tense. And you? Perfect tense. Espérame, espérame. Thanks. And you? Vaya. Le voy a contestar. I'm great. I am great. I'm great. I am great. I'm great. Um, quiero ver qué le podemos agregar. Um, no sé. Bueno, ahí seguía. I am working on a nuevo proyecto. Sí, puede, puede preguntar how, uh, what are you doing? ¿Qué vas a hacer en esos días? What are you doing? Y les dicen los planes que tienen ustedes para estos días. Ok. Y comienzan y después, how about you? Y después. Sí. No se me preguntaría Bye. usted, Andrea. Sí. Ajá, me contesta, I am great. Y me pregunta. How are you doing? Ajá. Y sencillo. Y empiezan a decir qué van a hacer estos días. Y después la otra persona. Y una conversación súper corta. Pero es que, vaya, ya le habíamos puesto, hi, Mercy, how are you being? Entonces ella me contestaba, I am perfect, thanks, and you? Y yo le contesto, I, I'm great. Uh -huh. Ajá, y la otra, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que voy a hacer en estos días? Exacto, yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Es, what are you doing these days? These days. These yes. days. Uh -huh. Ajá. What are you doing? Say tu corazón, Andrea. Say tu corazón. These days. Ajá. Sí. Uh -huh. What? ¿Qué vas a hacer estos días? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces usted pone, ¿qué estás haciendo este día? Y eso es, how... What are a... you doing, doing these days? days. Mm -hmm. Y ahí mm -hmm. comienzan a decir sus planes para estos días. Mm -hmm. Ah, que era lo primero. O sea, sí. que eso de los planes no era el... aparte. No, no, no. Le, primero se preguntan cómo ah. estás. Y después dice what are you doing these days? ¿Qué vas a hacer estos días? Y comienzan a decir... I am having lunch, I am having a meeting, y ahí luego, what about you, or how about you, ok? Ajá, perfecto, mm -hmm. sí. Okay. Vale, entonces, sería entonces, Claudia. Oh, Dios, que no miro, ¿dónde está? What are you doing? La segunda, de se ve. Vaya, that sound like a coincidence, also taking the screw. ¿Todo bien acá? Yes. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Ya lo anotaste, Alex. Yes. Ya, ya de casa. Um. Hello, ¿todo bien por acá? Ahí la vamos armando ahorita. Esa es la actitud, así me llega. Inventen.
Hello guys, how how are you doing? Good, ready? Very good, ready. Yes. So more than ready. More than ready. Always. Okay, I like that attitude. Okay, Diana. Uh, more or less. Yes, more or less. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Le tenés miedo al éxito. Are you afraid to the success? No. Vamos a ver si me acuerdo éxito? de algo. <laughs> ¿De qué va? Um, he said. Um, Bien, vamos a ver. Denita. That in Sunday, visiting your mom. Ay, mom. No. Es mom. <laughs> the, de, de Diego. Ah, Diego es mom. Ok. Ajá, Vaya, Diego Anita, mom. Vos son, mira, de, eh, de Anita, vos no te das cuenta, pero eso es la clave del éxito. So, you go first. Va primero, de Anita. Ay, no. Vaya, ¿Está okay. para el éxito en tu vida? Mm, yes. <ríe> ok. Go ahead. No sé cómo, pero yes. <ríe> Dale, va. <ta. ríe> Diego. Um, okay, Diego, Diego es visiting. Um, no, 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 no. I mean. ¿Están listos para la conversación? ¿Cómo así? O sea, se lo voy a decir a él. No. ¿Cómo, lo, cómo lo practicamos cuando yes. iniciamos? ¿Cómo lo practicaron? Ah. Hi, me, me, eso, a, antes que nada, Dianita, me suena como a baile, como lo practicamos, ok. So, ah. adelante con la <risa> coreografía. <risa> Dale. Bye. Hi, Diego. Mm, hi, Diana. <laughs> um, I am okay. Um, I have been um, I'm sick. Ah, okay, but first, I hope I hope you getting better soon. But let me ask you something. Uh, what are you doing these days? Um, I am working. Uh, the weekend all day yeah uh, the weekend all the weekend all the weekend really thank you <laughs> sounds terrible mm -hmm. and you i'm going to visit my mother on friday in the afternoon and at nine i'm going to party with my friends you know what i mean um good that's good Okay, and what are you planning for Sunday? Um, that I am working on Sunday at noon. Okay, from morning to noon. Yes. And in the afternoon, I'm so sorry I am visiting uh, my mom. Hey, nice. Say hello to your mom for me. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, good. Yeah, really good <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Se escuchaba bien fluida. Estaba bueno el chamber. Okay, I like that. I, li I like it. Vamos, es un vamos. buen compañero, Diego. Okay, good. Good, good conversation. Nice. Hey, thank you very much. Congratulations. Bien. You ah, too, bueno. you too. You are the it's best my, one. It's my pleasure. Okay, well, okay, perfect. What about if we have Mercy? Okay, Mercy. Who was okay, your classmate? Teacher. Okay, can you compañera? Who was your classmate? Andrea. Okay, please. Hi, Mercy. How are you being? Hi, Andrea. I am perfect. Thanks. And you? I'm great. What are you doing th these days? I am running every day in the morning. How about you? Oh, you are tiring. Well, I am practicing English every day. All right. I wish luck. See you later. Thanks. See you. Wonderful. Good one. Perfect. Okay. What about things? Thanks. Thanks. And what about Carmen? Ready? Ready? Es con Alex. Okay. Hi, Dale Alex. Con todo. Dale con todo. <laughs> How are you? 
feliz night and you? I am okay. I am working and studying. What are you doing on the weekend? Well, the Saturday I'm going to my mom's home. And how about you? Uh, on the weekend, I will work with my family for a work. Oh, that's great. I am going to know the lake of Suchitlan. How good. You will go for a walk? Yeah, um, how was work? Oh, good. Okay, I like talking to you. See you another day. Thank you, you too. Well, well done, bien hecho. Todo bueno de chamba. Thanks, Carmen. Thanks, Alex. Okay, Marlon, time to shine. Showtime. Okay, uh, with Kevin. Okay, Kevin, go ahead. <laughs> um, hi, Kevin. How is it going? Hello, Marlon. Marlon, I'm fine. How about you? Uh, I'm great. And what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to my mother's home. And you? I'm going to. I'm going out with my friends to drink some beers on Saturday. Uh, good. Maybe we can practice our English class on Sunday. Of course. I think it is going to be great to practice. And also we can see subtitle movies for improve or to improve. Right. I've been happy to meet you again. I really Excellent. like this idea. Excellent. Um, so I am doing home office right now. So I have to leave you. Okay. See you later. See you. Good. Perfect. I, I like that. Do, those options. Me gustaron esas opciones. No les, no les creo mucho de estudiar inglés, but good effort. Buen esfuerzo. Nice, nice. Okay, we're having now eh, Claudia. Okay, a mí me tocó con Cristian. Okay, Cristian. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hello, Christian. How are you? Hello, Claudia. I am fine. What about you? I am very good. What are you doing these days? Uh, I am visiting my grandparents on the weekends and I am going to in on Friday. Uh, tomorrow I'm working from 7 o'clock uh, to... 5 p.m. club. That sounds great. Great. I am going to the beach with my parents. Great, Claudia. Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay, good. Thanks. Very good conversation. Okay, we have also um, Carla, Edgar, and Helen, right? Okay. Okay, please. Okay. Hi, Carla. How are you? Hello, Helen. Very good. What are you doing there is I will go with me friends to it. And you, Gonzalo? Uh, I am excellent. Gonzalo? Uh, I am excellent. Falta que me pregunte. Brian, I'm Saturday going with my friends. Coffee. Bye, take care. 
finish this set. Ok, good, excellent. Ese cuando Edgar Gonzalo va como que cuando te están así pollando. Sí. Y cuando lo, quiero ver qué dice el papelito. Ok, but that was good, that Sorry. was good. Ok, it was difficult, fue un poco difícil porque iban tres. Uh, in a conversation with, uh, between three people, it's like kind of difficult, ok? So, good. Eh, y eso es, eh, si se dan cuenta, ya tenemos, bueno, un par de estas actividades. And this helps you to in, try to have a, like a conversation, para tener más conversaciones, ¿verdad? Eh, con respecto a las estructuras gramaticales que estamos viendo, ¿ok? Now, we're having a, a listening exercise. So, I need you to take notes. Necesito que tomen notas. Uh, take notes or try to identify some words. Identifican algunas palabras que vamos a escuchar en este momento. Unfortunately, uh, for, uh, desafortunadamente, tenemos, bueno, van a escuchar unos niños que a lo lejos se escuchan, ¿verdad? Porque el audio sí me lo mandaron. But let's try to identify some words that are uh, common for you. Okay? Let's see. Well, let's listen better. The speech on respect. From childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's love and relation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion, and cultural background, but they respected of all the factors. We should respect everyone. Respect comes from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay, let's listen again. A speech on respect. From childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's love and relation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion, and cultural background. But the respect of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect comes from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay, so tell me what are the words that you listen? We're beginning with mercy, okay, mercy? Did you identify any words? Mm, yo solo escuché parents in order. Mm -hmm. Country has people. Factors. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> oh, well, 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 thanks. Okay, what about you, Alex? Yes, mm -hmm. I escuché one other. I country, everyone has people in the quarter. Okay, good, thanks. Claudia? Okay, yo escuché... I, I am older, especially special respect. I country has people want. Solamente. Okay. Carmen, tell me you. And then Helen. Uh, respect. Uh, this uh, country has people different. Respect everyone, quality, abilities. A relation, loves. Okay, good. Solo eso. Good. Thanks, Helen. They, they doubt, respect, religion, culture. Thank you. Christian? Uh, I listen parents, background, everyone. I will see. Okay, good. <laughs> what about you, Marlon? Um, I, I, I think that main idea is about uh, respect. Mm -hmm. And some words are, uh, we have to respect other. We have to, uh, I think they are, she's talking about respect, uh, the uh, qualities, the um, achievements. Uh, I don't know, but it's all about this respect. Okay. Thanks a lot, Marlo. Andrea. 
Okay. In speak on respect. Country has people respect everyone, everyone, a parents, elders, background, qualities, abilities, and however. Okay, good. Diego. Okay, teacher. I I remember that the 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 main question is about respect. I can remember uh, respect the, the nation, nation, religion, qualities, and abilities. Abilities is essential to live in peace. I'm not sure about peace. Yes, but... yes, yes. Okay. A good point. That's like one of the main idea. Thank you. Diana? Okay. Um, I remember for others, essential has people, background, qualities, abilities, and achievement, achievement, algo así decía. Excellent. However, yes. however, uh, everyone um, respect. Perfect. Thank you, Diana. Carla? Um, a country, people, everyone. Okay. Let's uh, check uh, speech on respect. Thank you, Carla. So I'm going to, well, we're going to listen and uh, let's um, check. Let's follow the listening. A speech on respect. From childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's love and revelation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion and cultural background. But the respect of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect comes from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay, indeed. Uh, the main topic was respect. So um, tell me, Carmen, could you mention a keyword? Podría mencionar una palabra clave de esto? And then Andrea? Palabras claves de, de, de todo ese texto. Respect. Okay, respect, of course. Andrea, okay. and then Claudia. Moral values. Okay, moral values, yes. Respect and moral values. Thank you, Carmen. Andrea. Um, respect everyone, everyone. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank es you. Es que todo va con respecting. Yes, that's it, that's it. Y tenemos ideas principales, ¿verdad, Diana? ¿Podrías mencionar una idea principal, Dianita? We should respect everyone. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a, like a, one of the main ideas. Okay, what about Kevin? Could you uh, mention one of the main ideas? ¿Puedes mencionar una de las ideas principales, Kevin? Mm. El respeto de las diferentes cualidades. Okay, habilidades. el respeto de different. Okay, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what about if we listen to Claudia? Una de las ideas principales que puede ver en, en esos eh, cuatro párrafos pequeños. Es que todo sería más que todo con lo del respeto. Okay. Concientizar que el respeto es muy importante para las diferentes cosas, por ejemplo, la religión, la cultura. Okay. okay, thanks, thanks. Okay, yes, that's true. That's like the main message. Like, ese es como el mensaje principal. Pero cuando les pida eso, les voy a agradecer que, que retomen algunas de esas palabritas y me las digan, ¿verdad? Porque ahí están las ideas, aunque todo... Este, relaciona, eh, se relaciona al respecto, no se utiliza respeto para todas las palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces, siempre hay un mensaje, ¿verdad? Como lo que les explicaba ayer, skimming and scanning, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí hay la niñez, ¿verdad? Eh, It's also essential. Essential, yes, that, that's the point. Ese es el punto de lo que les quiero decir. Porque si hablamos de keywords, hablamos de palabras clave, obviamente me van a decir respeto, me, me van a decir niñez, pero... Uh, hay algo más a fondo aparte de eso, ¿ok? So, thanks. 
Uh, tomorrow we're having another topic. Mañana tenemos otro tema. So, the next uh, question is, should parents be punished by their children's crime? Y cuando digo children's crime, me refiero a los crímenes de los niños. Y they can be teenagers, pueden ser adolescentes. They can be, uh, they can be about to, to, yeah, to, to, to have like, well, to be like adults. Well, not adults, but uh, like 18 years old. Pueden ser casi por sus 18 años. Entonces, la pregunta es que si los papás deberían de ser punished, castigados. Ok. So, let's look at some, some of these opinions. And uh, Mercy and then Carla is having like, well, they are having the first opinions. Ok, Mercy. In my opinion, no. No. Mm -hmm. Each person is responsible for their own action or crimes. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Carla, and then we're having Carmen. In my opinion, yes, because there are first parents who are not interest, interested I what and their children do. Okay, they are not interested in what their children children do. Como no está interesado en lo que hacen sus niños. Okay, good point. Okay, Carla, and good point, Mercy. Now, Carmen, and then we're having Andrea. In my opinion, yes, the parents. Uh, Debe, como deben ser should be or must should be, be mm -hmm. uh, should be responsible responsible with, responsible responsible with your son uh, with theirs uh, with their their children they song their, their children. daughters okay because they are not adults porque no son adultos right so they right. should be responsible for they y de hecho eh, Ahí dice castigados, pero somos responsables por poco o mucho que ellos hagan. Okay. Because they are not taking or they are not have, making their decisions uh, like clearly. No tienen como una mente clara, ¿verdad? Para su decisión. Okay. Thanks, Carmen. Okay. Uh, we're having next. ¿Quién la siguiente? Andrea. Me. Andrea. And then we're having Kevin. In my opinion, no. The duty of parent is advice. Each one must bear the consequences of their actions, be they good or bad. Okay, advice, aconsejar, sugerir. Okay, that's the point of Andrea. Okay, thanks, Kevin, and then Edgar. Okay, in my opinion, I, I think not. I think it is the same person who decides what to do with his life. One self is responsible for what he does because okay. he can give their children a, a good education, but they can force them to be good. Okay, you can force them to be good. Okay, thank you. Edgar, your turn. And then we have in Claudia. Okay. Uh, I think uh, not because parents are not to blame for their child committing crimes. If mm -hmm. they would have prevented, uh, but in the in the end, the child is the one who decides what to do. Okay, the child is the one who decides what to do. Okay, thank you. Okay, Claudia, your turn. Thanks for your opinions. Okay, my opinion is no, because many times our parents give us a good education, but the children often do not, do not follow the example of their parents. That is we, each one is responsible for their action. They're responsible for, the, for their actions, okay? Good point. And we're going to listen to some opinions uh, in a couple of minutes. 11 minutes and we finish. 11 minutes and we finish. Como un libro de Paulo Coelho. Mucha gente lo ha leído. Okay. So here we have 
some sentences in which we have to change them. Vamos a cambiarlas. Uh, well, more than change them, order them. Más que cambiarlas, vamos a ordenar. So, uh, for uh, this exercise, we're having Marlon's um, participation and then Alex. Uh, uh, I have only to order or I have to you have to, to say order, it in a present order continuous. and add a verb B and ing vamos a agregarle el verbo okay. B y el ing al verbo que está por ejemplo okay. go uh -huh, read uh -huh, wash ok ok number one she is going home now la vieja confiable she is going home now <laughs> good Marlo. good one ok now we're going with Carmen and then Diego Number two, I am reading a great book. Perfect. Okay, uh, Diego, and then we're having Edgar. Okay. She isn't crying. Number five. Okay, but it is a question. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Is she crying? Yes, is she crying for you, Diego? Is she crying for your actions? Okay, no, no. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. We're having Edgar and then uh, Mercy. Okay, number eight. Number eight. Are, uh, sería, are a, they watching yeah. TV? Yes, perfect. Are they watching TV? Of course. Okay, uh, we're having also Mercy, si no me equivoco, verdad? Yes. Okay, Mercy and then Christian. She is not washing her hair. Eh? Her hair. Her hair. Her hair. Thanks. Okay. Christian, and we're having also um, Diana. Number seven. Seven. Are we driving to London? Yes, are we driving to London? Okay. Who's next? John. Mm, yeah. Okay. Hey. Joe? And then Andrea. <laughs> okay. Um, where number nine? Number nine. Where is she going now? Yes. Now? Where is she going now? Mm -hmm. Good, Anita. Perfect. Okay. And who's next? Andrea. And after Andrea, we're having Helen. Number four. Four. Is the cat chasing mice? Yes. Se recuerda que mice es el plural de mouse, ¿verdad? Son ratones. Y es chase, es atrapar. Chasing, como cuando atrapan sus corazones. Okay. Thanks. And we're having Helen, right? Number six. Six. They're not studying Latin. Okay. He, he is not. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's not, perdón. He's not <laughs> studying Latin. Okay. Perfect, perfect. And, and Carla, are you there, Carla? Ten. Ten. I, I, I am not. Not. Eleven. No. Uh -huh. Excellent. I am not living now. Perfect. Okay, good. Creo que con eso ustedes ya están listos para sobrevivir. Están listos para, para ganarse el premio mayor. Okay. So, no problem with present continuous. So, should parents be punished by the children? So, tenemos siete minutos for some of your opinions. So, the first person in this case is going to be Christian. Okay, Christian. And I don't agree. Each person must pay for their uh, own crimes. Okay. Uh, Yo creo que cada persona debe pagar por su propio delito, aunque okay. sean menores, porque even, hay instancias mm -hmm. también. Even if eso. they are if they are kids, okay? Okay. Yes. Good. Good point. Thanks. Okay. And what about if we listen to Helen? Hey Helen. Hello. If you are under each, we call says yes. You are responsible for the education of the minor. Okay. Thanks, Helen. 
And now we're going to listen to Diego. Okay, Diego. Okay, teacher. In order to talk about this topic, I have to say that I am agree with Carmen and Carla. And I'm going to say yes, because I believe the action of our children are our own reflections, who we are. And if your children are becoming bad people, it's because we allow it and we don't have rules at home or because we are very sad with them. So I believe if your offspring makes some crime, that includes to, to us and we have to pay it together. We have to pay it together. Okay, thanks, thanks. Allow it like a synonym of permit. Es un sinónimo de permitir. If you as parents allow kids do something, it's because it's your responsibility. It depends on you. Depende de ustedes si lo hacen. Okay? Even if it is at home, on street, at school, in a different place. Okay? So they are not free to do every, everything they want. No son libres de hacer lo que quieren. Because they are kids. Okay? They're your kids. So, well, good point. I, love, I like that word. Okay? Thanks, okay. Diego. And now we have Diana. Okay, Dianita, tell me. Okay, I agree. I think that if they should be punished because they are neg negligent. Okay, they're negligent. A good word. And they're punished. Punished. Conté al final. Punished. Mm -hmm. punished. Porque Punisher is a Frank Castle. I don't know if ah, you okay. have seen that, that <laughs> sí. series. It's a good one. A good I series. Like uh -huh. Yes, I like it too. So, yes, they, they should be punished, okay? Since that's a re parent's responsibility. Thank you, Tiana. Good point. And Alex, what about you, Alex? What's your opinion about it? Yes. I think that parents were responsible and if they make a mistake, mistake, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Mistake. Mistake. Error. Uh -huh. They have to correct. Okay, they have to correct. Correct. Okay. Yes, they have to correct. And remember that we are all human beings, somos seres humanos. We are not perfect. We have mistakes, but uh, we have we as parents uh, we have to correct kids, okay? And we also as parents we have mistakes. Como padres también tenemos errores, of course, because we are human, okay? So that's it. Thank you, Alex, uh, for for your participation. And Marlon, we finish with Marlon. Uh, I think that is a complex topic, teacher. Okay. But mm -hmm. but really, really, we we as a parents, as parents, we cannot allow our children do what they want to do. Uh, we are responsible. We have to to guide them to the correct ways, and and I think uh, we are we are the the responsible. So if if or 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 my son or or children, I can say, uh, has uh, uh, the the way the thinking the for, la, la forma de pensar, o ya como way of adulto, thinking. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, he is uh, an adult, so he is responsible about his, his, uh, for his actions. But if if I am educating my son. Or my children, I am the, the responsible of the of the rats. Of course, the way of thinking, the education, in the end, ideas start from home. Okay, so that's I know that it is not an easy topic. Uh, as have you seen? And as have you heard, there are different opinions about about it 
but uh, one of these points, uh, one of the main points is uh, not to allow kids to do anything or everything they want. Uh, do not permit and to correct mistakes. We are we are like guiding, and we have to establish our like a basis of a good way of thinking with values and well, a lot of things. Okay, so thanks for all your opinions, my friends. We are about to finish. And solo recordarles dos cosas. Uno, nos quedan cinco clases. Five more classes. And we are out of this. And uh, for the rest uh, who haven't completed, los que no han completado los homeworks, please do it. Por, por favor, háganlo. Eh, ahora tenemos que pasar notas. So, um, I'm going to check the attendance list and we finish, okay? So, Ana Mercedes, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carmen. I'm here. There, Claudia. Present. Thank you, Christian Alberto. Present, teacher. Hello, Alex. Present. Nice, Diana. It's me. Yes, it's you, Diego. Present. Good, uh, Edgar. Hi. Hello, Helen. Present. Mm, Carla. Present. Hello, Kevin. Present. Hello, Marlon. Present. Thanks, my friend. So, see you tomorrow. Have a okay. good night. So, good see night, you. everybody. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Kevin, it's your turn. It's your turn, Kevin. Uh, 10 minute session, and we finish. Okay, Kevin. Uh, tenemos un par de minutos. Um, this passes by so quickly. Esto se va pasando, pero rápido. Ni vas a sentir los lo, lo 10 minutos. ¿Verdad? Eh, ¿Hay algún tema eh, que te gustaría tener como refuerzo o práctica? Uh -huh. eh, sí, este, estoy un poco confundido con lo del presente continuo. En la oración, por ejemplo, como eh, por mí, o no sé, bueno, tengo entendido que el presente continuo es lo que está haciendo. Perdón, quiere decir el verbo ING, que es lo que está haciendo, pasando en el momento. Por ejemplo, hay quien estoy tomando o, o algo así. Este, ¿Por qué suena lo mismo eh, a usarlo, al usarlo con una oración? Eh, como por ejemplo, es que no encuentro las palabras para explicar como que. No le encontrás la lógica. No, no, no sé cómo explicárselo. Este, ¿Cómo puede, por ejemplo, I drink in coffee? Eh, por ejemplo, eh, I drink in coffee, estoy tomando café y puedo decir tomorrow I drink in coffee. No estaría diciendo mañana estoy tomando café. O sea, no sé. Exacto. Ajá, exacto. Vaya. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo funciona? Vaya. Eh, ok, good, 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 good point. Buen punto. Hay algo que son los adverbios y un complemento. Si tú utilizas tomorrow, eh, next Monday, eh, y así, hace que la oración cambie. Entonces, cuando vos decís, I'm drinking coffee, y ahorita puedes agarrar la taza y decir, I'm drinking coffee, right? Pero si decís, I'm drinking coffee tomorrow, no se refiere que estoy tomando café mañana, sino que eso se vuelve ya una acción como para futuro. Entonces ya no sonaría estoy tomando café, sino voy a tomar café mañana. ¿Ok? O next Monday. Ahora, decís aquí, I'm working. I'm working, estoy trabajando. Pero decís, I'm working on Friday. Mm, se escucharía extraño decir, estoy trabajando el viernes, sino que Voy a trabajar el viernes. Entonces, estas palabras. Uh, tomorrow, next Monday. Si dices on Friday. ¿Verdad? Eh, hacen que la oración ya tenga otro sentido. Ya. Eh, por ejemplo. Mm, um, aquí es, es presente y continuo. Pero te voy a mostrar un ejemplo. De conversations que tengo acá. Ok. 
Ok. Vamos a ver acá. Tenemos acá. ¿Podrías leer esa parte? Yo voy a hacer esta parte. Ok. What classes? What classes are you taking next term? I am taking math and history. Nice. I am taking math too. Who is teaching uh, the class? Ross Smith is teaching. Yeah. Oh no, I heard his heart. Ok, ahora pasemos al español. ¿Qué crees que dice acá? What classes are you taking this next term? ¿Cuáles clases o qué clases estás tomando? ¿O cuáles clases eh, tomarás el siguiente term? No sé qué. El curso eh, o semestre. El siguiente semestre, term. Ah, y dice, ah, I'm taking money history. Voy a tomar o tomaré matemática e historia. Ajá. Luego, nice, bien. Voy a tomar lo mismo matemática también. Exacto. Luego, eh, who's teaching the class? Oh, ¿Y quién va, a enseñar, quién, quién va a enseñar la clase o, o quién es el responsable de la clase? Ajá. Como el profesor Smith eh, va, va a enseñar. O... Eso, va a enseñar. Oh, no, I heard his heart. Oh, no, sé que él es un poco difícil o duro. Entonces, ¿te das cuenta que el taking es presente y continuo, pero como utilizamos next term, uh, como estamos enseñando, eh, utilizando este ING para futuro? Ya. Yeah. Ah, sí. Ajá. Ahora, si de, de, dijésemos, what classes are you taking now? Ajá, ¿cómo sería aquí la pregunta? ¿Qué clases? Estás tomando ahora. Ajá, este ahora le cambia. Le cambia totalmente. Ajá, es por eso que te digo que estos complementos o estos adverbios le cambian la forma. Ahora vamos a la siguiente. Vamos, comenzamos. What is going on? What is going on tonight? Bill is having a party. Oh, really? When and, when and where? He's having it at his house. It is wow. starting at six. Who is going? Everyone's going. You should come. Yeah. Uh -huh. ¿Qué crees que significa esta pregunta? ¿Qué vas a hacer en la noche? Ajá, ¿qué vas a hacer esta noche? Ajá. Bill is having a party. Bill va a tener una, una fiesta. Ajá. Oh, ¿en serio? ¿Cuándo y dónde? Yes. He's having it as his house. La tendrá en su casa. It is starting at six. Comenzará a las seis. Uh -huh. Yo como que... ¿Quiénes irán? No. Yes. ¿Quién irá? ¿Quiénes irán? Everyone's going. You should come. Todos irán. Debería de venir. Entonces te das cuenta que acá el ING es presente y continuo. Pero te da la idea de qué va a pasar. Ya. Ok. Pero si preguntamos. What's going on? ¿Te acuerdas qué significa right now? Right now significa ahora mismo, uh -huh. ahorita. Uh -huh. Ahora sí pregunto, what's going on right now? ¿Qué está pasando ahorita? Ya, entonces eso le cambia la idea a la conversation, a la frase. Y aunque el present continuous, como nosotros lo conocemos, que es para expresar o decir las cosas que están sucediendo en este momento, también sirven para expresar futuros eventos. Porque si te das cuenta aquí, ¿qué dice? Ver, esta noche, el próximo semestre, no te está preguntando qué va a pasar en 10 años. Porque para eso utilizaríamos going to o utilizaríamos will. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ahora, creo que más o menos tenemos un poquito más claro. Sí, claro, claro. He hecho, sí, muchísimo más. Vaya, entonces, eh, esta, esta conversation la vamos a utilizar, yo creo que mañana, ¿verdad? Para que tengamos una idea. Y voy a poner un ejemplo de contraste, de continuous con presente y continuous con futuro. ¿Ok, Kevin?
este se nos acabó el tiempo, como te dije, esto pasa volando, ni parece, ¿verdad? Pero, bien, me alegra. Eh, solo verte. una última pregunta. Dime. ¿Cada cuánto envío usted las tareas? ¿Cada cuánto enviamos las tareas? Eh, sí, porque en el curso pasado era como que, como que los viernes lo hacían. Ajá. ¿Cuál es la límite para realizarlo? Lo que, pasa, lo que pasa es que son homeworks, las tareas de la plataforma, es cada viernes. Porque si comienzas lunes las clases, entonces eh, cada viernes eh, se, se deben determinar todas las tareas. Pero como este curso no lo comenzamos lunes, lo comenzamos jueves, si no me equivoco. Entonces eh, hubo una desconfiguración con respecto a eso. Ajá, entonces hoy terminamos la unidad 3. Después de cinco clases, ¿verdad? De la unidad 3. Entonces, por eso que les estaba diciendo que es necesario, pues, pasar, eh, terminar la, las, la, las tareas y todo eso. ¿Tú las has terminado? ¿Todo bien? De hecho, a hacerlas. Bueno. Ok, no te va a tomar mucho tiempo, es fácil. Y es de lo que hemos estado hablando, ¿viste? Entonces, muchas gracias. Ok, gracias a ti, Kevin. Cuídate mucho. See you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana. Ok, bye bye.